Hello, welcome back to Autopilot at Work. If you are just joining us, I have a task to email a summary report every month. This summary report is created from leads data captured from various web forms and then exported to SFTP server. Instead of writing codes, I decided to use UiPath to automate the entire process without writing any codes. In part one, we have covered how to fetch the data from SFTP server. Today, in part two, we are going to dive into how to create a pivot table from this data using your path. So let's jump right in. In the last video, we have completed the first part of the workflow where we fetched the data from SFTP server. So in this video, we need to build the next part of the activity where we create the pivot table from the Excel file that we fetched from the F SFTP server. Therefore, we need the next activity after the SFTP scope. We need the Excel process scope where we can use the Excel file that we fetched. So we need another activity called use Excel file. And then we'll grab the Excel file from the local folder. And then I'll keep the reference name as Excel and then leave the rest unchanged. Once I have the file, and now I can build the pivot table from the Excel file. So I'll need create pivot table and I'll specify the source, which is the Excel sheets from the Excel file that I fetched. And the Excel sheet name is leads. You can double check in the Excel file, so the sheet name is leads, and the next activity, so the next part of the activity is to put in the new table name, which I'm gonna name it summary, because it's a summary table, and then the destination will be a new sheet. So I'll use Excel dot sheet and I will specify the name of the sheet as summary and then I'll Put the range from A1, which is the first the first cell of the sheet. So I was I'll build the table starting from the first cell of the summary sheet. And the next thing we need to add it the is the pivot table field. So what I'm going to do is to build a summary table that tells me the total of products for each source. So I want to see under each source how many, um, what's the total of each interest, product interest. So I'll see a summary. I want, I want the workflow to just create a summary table that shows me that breakdown. So what I need is to have the first row as the source. Followed by next row so under each source, I want to see the product 
under the col uh, the interest column. So interest will be the in on the sec second row and then and then I want to see the total for each product under the interest under the interest column. Therefore I I will need to count the number of ID because assume um so these IDs are um unique. So this ID could be a unique customer. So in, in this table it represents a unique customer. So I want to see how many customers are interested in each product and which source they came from. So basically that's what I want to see from the summary report. So therefore the field I need is ID and then I'll need the value of count. So I want this the workflow to count for me and and that is all let's run this workflow to see whether we can create the summary report mm -mm -mm. okay let's check the report so we have successfully created the summary report and it said exactly what I need. So it is the breakdown of each source of the channel and then, and then the total of each product interest. So I have all the product interest under each source and then the total of IDs for each of them. So, and then I also have the grand total for all of the products. And there you have it. We have successfully automated the creation of pivot table using UiPath. This is a fantastic way to streamline your reporting process and save you a ton of time each month. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the part three of the video where I'll show you how to email the report as an email attachment. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Happy automating. Ciao.